we've seen this quite a bit. This is a relatively new Aaron's. What do we got here? A Deluxe 24. And a lot of these keyed axle shafts end up looking like this when the machine comes in. And this is not a very old machine, maybe two years old. So what we're gonna have to do here, we're gonna clean this up and they grease it a little bit with some white lithium. It doesn't seem to work very well. So we're gonna clean this off and we're gonna use a much stickier wheel bearing grease. We don't want the wheel to get seized on this part of the axle. At this point in the video, we're using abrasive mesh tape to clean up the round portion of the axle. After you get it slightly clean, you probably wanna use some compressed air and solvent to get most of the junk off of there. Then we're gonna use a wire brush to clean out the keyway. We're hopefully gonna get it nice and clean, just like this, before we go back together. After applying a little bit of grease to the inside of this axle, I'm gonna push it in, spin it a little bit, try and get as much grease in there as I possibly can. Uh, this is the best you can do without actually removing this flange. And in reality, push it back on with the washer. I'm gonna grease up the rest of the shaft, especially in this keyway. We have a nice clean key to go back in here. Where is it? Right here. We're gonna make sure that we put it in this way. It only goes one way. If you mount it like this, you won't be able to get the wheel on or you'll drop the key out of there altogether. And with the shaft all cleaned up, and the key hopefully pretty close to 12 o'clock, which will let gravity be your guide. We're gonna line up this part of the wheel and go ahead and clean that out too if you haven't already. Uh, this is something that you gotta do quite often actually if you don't want the wheels to get stuck on there. Eventually you're gonna have a tire problem or a transmission problem and you're gonna have to remove this assembly. So just like we addressed in the last video, the last portion of this video, we're gonna try and get this on here and line it up. Chances are you're not gonna get it on the first try, but go ahead and try. So we're gonna look at this from the back so we can see where the keyway actually is. Let's see, we're off a little bit. So we're just gonna hold this uh, thumb and push that on there until it lines up. There it goes. You can see it kind of pop into place. Then you're gonna push this the rest of the way on. Mm. Then on this end, even though we've already assembled it. Before we put the clip on, we're gonna throw some sticky grease around here too, and that way it prevents all the water from getting in there. Now on this right side, the setup is a little different. I've already cleaned this up with the plumber's tape. I haven't gotten in here with my wire brush yet, but you'll see, even though we've removed the wheel clip, there's another C-clip, E-clip, Jesus clip, whatever you wanna call it, holding this piece on. We're gonna get this off here, and we're gonna show you what that does. Okay, so we're gonna find that later. And inside of here, this is actually what engages the differential. So this piece of the axle shaft passes through to the other side. And over here, you're gonna see some splines on this. And look at that. But along with these splines, inside of here is actually a brass bushing, one on either side. And you can see it's already beginning to rust a little bit in there. So we're gonna clean this up. And we're gonna give it the same grease treatment. Once this and this seize together, your differential really doesn't do anything at that point. It's just there for decoration. Okay, so we've already cleaned up and greased this inner axle shaft, and this is clean here. We're gonna throw a little bit of grease on here before we apply it. Yummy. Oh yeah, delicious. Now, on some of these models, getting these splines to line up into the differential can be a little bit difficult, but on these, it's, it's usually not so bad. So, go ahead and get this in here, and we're gonna hope it engages all the way and it's already not engaging all the way. So there's a little trick to do this. So we're gonna spin the other side wheel and there's a washer in here that we have to try and line up. Hmm. So in some cases we might have to remove this belly pan to get at this washer, but I'm gonna keep trying it off camera. And with a little bit of wiggling, turning back and forth, etc., we were able to get that in there. Obviously our grease hit the bearing. So just like I did on the other side, first I'm gonna reinstall this Jesus clip right here. Then I'm gonna lube this whole thing up and put it back together just like the other side. And that's how you lubricate the axle shaft assembly on a late model Aaron's machine. Thank you for watching.